Well, welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody is doing well today and enjoying the Grasslands Animal Pack. I know I sure am. Absolutely fantastic so far. So today, uh, I was actually going to try to put in that butterfly garden in the space next to the wallabies like I had planned. However, every time I tried to do that, I don't know what it was, but every time I tried to place the... Uh, exhibit box and then move or change or connect the path, it would crash my game. So not sure what was going on there. Not sure why. Um, yeah, kind of weird. So instead, uh, we're doing armadillos today. And I'm continuing just with the same... Uh, architecture theme, reusing the fences from the wallaby. Again, it'll make the whole zoo feel really cohesive to do that. Just a simple little shelter for them. I'm not going all out and building shelters or anything. Uh, it's their indoor management building. Getting the barriers in. And this is quite a small little habitat, but it turns out to be plenty big enough for the armadillos, which I was very glad of. So we can only have two in a habitat, and I mean, it's sandbox, and I have all that stuff turned off. I could have more, but just for the sake of realism, we've got two coming. And there they are. Man, they are so cute. Look at that. Look at that little guy. So a habitat like this can end up looking really, really plain, um, but I wanted to try to spice it up a little bit. So I raised the terrain quite a bit. And I wanted to kind of hide their burrow as much as possible. I, I just don't love uh, how the in-game burrows look. I mean, they're fantastic that we have them, but I'm just not really thrilled with them. So I wanted to get some rock work going in here. Just building out a little, kind of just an overhang, a little shade structure for them. And scattering some rocks throughout the habitat. And they can't use this termite mound feeder, the natural termite mound feeder. They can use the other termite mound feeder, the one that looks like a weird little pyramid. But this is sandbox. I'm putting the natural one in because it looks better. I was starting to plant up, um, maintaining the same plant palette. Lots and lots of this big blue stem grass. I love it. Yeah, the foliage that came with this pack is probably some of the best since probably since conservation update. Like it is, it is nice. The new grass pieces are just what we needed. They are fabulous. So trying to hide the burrow a little bit just with this big rock here. I like to use this rock it, uh, quite a bit. It works well to kind of disguise a burrow a little bit. Getting some of the faux rock work in. And getting just a little enrichment for them. Putting some herb scent markers kind of up toward the front so that way they'll be inclined to come up toward the front more. 
And then I found out that they can actually get on top of that rock, which is fantastic. And then right here, I was trying to move that and my game crashed. I think I cut that part out, but yeah, very annoying. Uh, I don't know why the game crashed. I just tried to move the big rock a little bit to scoot it forward and yeah, it crashed the game. So we're not touching the rock ever again. <laughs> it is there and will remain there. And just making sure to save every now and then. Because, uh, yeah. Don't want to lose a bunch of work. I was very, very lucky with the autosave on that crash. It, I had, it had autosaved like seconds before. So it was really, really lucky. I didn't lose much work at all, if any. And we're keeping that same guest railing there. And then putting in more fencing, which I'm sure it's just thrilling to watch. Uh, yeah, just line in the paths with some fencing here. Do this little area in the middle. just to keep the guests on the paths where they belong. So the Grasslands Animal Pack, it's only been out for a few hours when I'm filming this, and already it's just fantastic. I am loving it. Uh, the animals are spectacular. I can't wait to build for all of them. We can't decide what to build for next. It's either going to be a giant anteater and the maned wolf, or maybe a little prairie habitat with some bison and pronghorn. Either way, we need those. Getting the signage in. Just replicating the same style. Again, and this little area is starting to feel nice and cohesive. I think that's my favorite word now. So I'm raising up the terrain here in the middle and then smoothing it out. Just to add a little visual interest there. And make this not quite so plain. And I think it turns out really nice. This kind of a centerpiece area. We'll do a little... Stacked rock work. And then I wanted to put some kind of statuary in here, and I thought about doing another one of the deer, but I eventually went with the uh, New World Pronghorn statue, which is... It's okay. It's not great. <laughs> but it's better than nothing. It's better than the New World Bear statue. That one is that one's a sleep paralysis demon. And then I wanted to plant up this little central area, get some olive trees in there, add a little shade, get a little shade for the armadillos as well. And then just duplicating that same blackthorn bush and the big blue stem. Love the big blue stem. This is my new favorite plant piece. It's absolutely lovely. And then I wanted to get some flowers in here as well. And it took a while to decide what would actually fit in here and not stick out too badly. And the twin flower worked pretty well. As well as the pincushion flower. But then I decided we're going to get some king protea in here as well. They kind of fit the color scheme. And then more goldenrod. I just want it to feel really natural. And really cared for, too. Then I want to get the uh, shade structure in. And make sure that it's even. And our signage. So all in all, this was a super fun build. I greatly enjoyed it. Um, it was a very quick build. This little 
Uh, this little habitat did not take long at all. It came together really smoothly, really quickly. There's one. Hmm. <laughs> little guy. And yeah, this was a very, very fun build. I am having more fun in Planet Zoo than I have had in a long time with this pack, and that is just great. So I wanted to continue the uh, guest fencing all along the little plaza. And that just kind of brings it all together, adding those little details, those little touches. And we should be coming up on the cinematic here. Here we go. Again, fun, fun build. Uh, very quick, very... Yeah, just very. <laughs> I really enjoyed it. I hope you guys did too. Uh, comment down below, let me know what you think. Subscribe if you'd like to see more. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.